next we are going to show you how to use nmap scanner net nmap scanner is an open source network scanner it can be used for os fingerprinting port scanning and many other scans it can even scan the local lan pcs for the information or is as well as it can scan the live websites so let's use the hacktech dvd again and uh, go to the scanning tools and install our famous scanner called netmap or you can say network mapper So nmap is the original tool and the zenmap is the name of the GUI so you can even call this tool as a zenmap so both are same so zenmap is a GUI version of nmap nothing else So after this, let's start the end map. Go to the end map folder and click on Zen Map GUI. You can access the same tool with the command prompt as well. But for that, you need to learn the commands and all. But right now, we are not going into depth of this command details. So we are need to specify the IP address of or you can say the domain name of the target domain name can be a website or it can be a machine IP so on, on our local end we have a, a Windows 7 running the IP address of that Windows 7 is So IP is 192.168.137.89 so we'll give the local IP 192.168.137.89 so we'll go for the intense scan initially so let's see the output of scan click on scan it will start executing the command and it will show you the details so this is my computer so the computer name is toshendra machine dot ms home dot net it's a domain name of the microsoft network and these are the discovered open port on my machine so see we are scanning the machine called toshendra hyphen pc for the open ports so open ports are nothing but just like a open door for a machine so whenever we find some open ports we can access that machine using that port so we can particular attack on that particular port as you know that say port number 80 is a http port very famous port similarly every port is this these ports are open and this is reporting and many other information can be gained from this uh, tool even we can get the operating system detail of the victim side of that IP address that which operating system that IP is using using that information we can 
schedule our attack and we can hack it so it's, you can see the scan status the scan is running or has been finished so we, have, we can see this scan is running it's taking more time many detail will come after completing this step, scan on the different different tabs except the type of scans are available there are multiple type of scan quick scan ping scan any other scans they are so complex yeah, this uh, slow comprehensive scan takes lots of time and execute all possible kind of information and try to get all possible kind of information and as well as the every single detail about the victim side this IP address or you can say the target can be a website so if you will put a website name over here you will get the detail about the server where that website has been hosted so you can get the server detail where website has been hosted so that you can plan your attack for the future information gathering taking some time to scan that machine in a all possible manner the scanning process is theoretically very strong this machine this nmap tool actually throw some raw packets or throw some particular sin packet to the machine and try to get the response from that machine suppose I'm a zenmap so I'll throw a sin packet to the machine and I'll check what kind of response that machine is sending to back to me and I'll analyze that packet to gather the information so I'll throw every packet on every port and we'll say whether the response is coming if the response is coming it means the port is open if the response is not coming it means that port, uh, port is closed so as you can see the OS detection try one against this OS retrying OS detection retrying OS didn't match until try 3 so it executed something else OS fingerprinting couldn't done because of some reason the reason is I have installed the antivirus on my machine so because of that this OS detection process has been terminated let's see the status, the status is still running you can, mul you can, you can run the multiple uh, scans and save them see status unsaved means scan executed completely you can see the verbose these are the information these are the host script result like which machine I am using which uh, what is my Mac what is my uh, like domain name work group every detail will be available for you except this the very interesting part is this the port has have been categorized as per the type of their services running on that port suppose this port 80 is the protocol which is running on TCP protocol and his services which is service which is running on that port is HTTP similarly Microsoft remote processor call service is running on that 135 port and many other services are running as per the configuration of that machine except this topology you will see physically you will see the graphic it will show you one graphic called display it can be a multiple machine there is a multiple machine it will show a tree kind of structure it will show you the detail about the machine as well this this is the detail this trace route of the machine and services the other services running on those uh, ports the possible services the extra ports we'll get come to this point later these are the host detail and see the operating system information has been gathered and though the signature couldn't match perfectly but still the operating system found is somewhere near to Vista accuracy is 100% but you know the Vista and Windows 7 are almost sim sim similar and these are the open port as you can see the logo the open ports available 17 filtered port 0 closed port 983 total scanned ports are 1000 and these are the detail last boot time of that machine is this and uh, IP address of this machine is this and the MAC address of my machine that Windows 7 which is running on a LAN actually local network and TCP sequence the IDPI these are the are all other settings which are running so topology these are the very useful information you can have gathered 
about the victim machine without even touching that machine so this is very nice so suppose let's start with some website scanning let's try to scan the website let's try to scan www Got our company's website and we'll see the information. So that IP address, that domain name will be converted into some IP address. That IP address is 68 178 And we'll scan that machine for all possible open ports and service services running on that server. It will try to even analyze the operating system which is running on the host server machine it is sometimes very very useful see sync stealth scan timing actually sin packet is called synchronization packet which is a part of three way handshaking of TCP connection establishment We pause this video for some time because it's taking some time. So this uh, website has been scanned, and uh, let's see the details and the result. As you can see in this verbose, lots of information. Like we have discovered an open port 21 on this IP. Port 80 is also open on this IP, and uh, other thing is OS detection has been done and uh, these these are the services and version of the services which are running on this that server and network distance is two hope only and difficulty is in the tcp sequence prediction that is used in uh, dos attack uh, another session hijacking attack is 26663 may or may not be true and except this the trace route is this this trace route has been given so let's see the port these two ports has been found only this is the topology now you can see the topology detail let's zoom Okay, after zooming you can see and um, this is my own machine this is some another machine and they have shown this thing in a very nice environment a very nice GUI see this is the website the trace road has been not been done properly and this is one 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 machine and this is another machine and this this is actually my machine and this is the machine from where I have connected and this machine is kind of gateway to the all external net network Let me show you this you know you can change the GUI you can export the graphic Stand. It take some time. Let's pause the video and we'll continue when this Zen will resume. Okay, so we'll see this uh, to after topology. We'll see the information. So Microsoft Windows Vista SP1. The operating system scan is showing this. It may or may not be this because this is the suggestion from the tool. And except this, these other details are available. Mac is not available of that machine and uh, except this this kind of information you can gather from about the website about uh, anything or you can if you'll go for this this show comprehensive scan it will take lots of time it will execute see as you can see these are the 
this is the command which are going to execute and going to execute all scripts for this website or this target or you can say victim we are going to execute every kind of a scan for this and later we can save this scan for our own later study so this is all about nmap scan thanks for watching